teenager falsely accused of lighting a younger teenager on fire. And now the charges are dropped after police say witnesses lied. Good evening. I'm Cherie Poello. And thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Dardis. Tonight we hear from that 17 year old who was wrongfully charged. WLWT News 5's Jackie Congedo has the story. Jackie? Mike and Cherie, that 17 year old said he's been in trouble before, and that's why witnesses blamed him. I'm glad I'm off for Christmas. He's only 17, so we're not identifying him. But this young man says he's grateful investigators realized what he knew all along. I was worried uh, that I was going to go down for something I didn't do. So I was pretty scared. He appeared in Butler County Juvenile Court in handcuffs this morning, accused of setting a 14 year old shorts on fire during a sleepover at the Countryside Mobile Home Park. But he left with the charges dropped after prosecutors said he wasn't the right guy. I just want to tell everybody that I deserve an apology because they, they thought I was guilty. Investigators say several witnesses lied and blamed the 17 year old. I got a record and they thought just. Like they could just come at me, thought I did it. But he says he wasn't even there when it all happened. I was thinking, like, why, why are they getting me? And like, I told him I was going to fight it. Now he doesn't have to. And prosecutors now say they have the right guy, a 14 year old who police arrested on Friday. I guess he got enough evidence to lock other people up. So I'm just glad I'm out, doing good. That 14 year old is now charged with aggravated arson, felonious assault, and obstructing official business. He is due back here in court on December 16th. Reporting live tonight in Butler County, Jackie Congedo, WLWT News 5. All right, Jackie, and the victim in that case still recovering at Shriners Hospital with second and third degree burns.